this little man is going to grandma's house tonight and is spending the night. Are you excited to be leaving us? Is that why you smiling? Hmm? Is that why you're excited? Because you're leaving us? You have some drool on your lip. This is our first night without Aiden, and I can't lie, I'm a little bit nervous, and... So this is our first night with Aiden not being in our household at all. And I'm, I'm nervous, like I, it's not that I... What are you talking about? You ready to go? It's not that I'm like nervous that Kim's mom isn't gonna do a good job, because she's kept all of her grandkids for years, but... I'm just nervous. Like this is his first time being away. And I honestly feel like Kim is better off than me right now. I've gone two nights in a row with only three hours of sleep total. He's been cluster feeding, so he's waking up every hour, two hours to feed. So none of us are getting sleep except for Brandon. Except for Brandon? I'm still getting up with y'all too. Hey, don't don't put me on blast on YouTube like I'm not helping. Well, lately you've been sleeping through every time. What you talking about? See guys, this is how they do you. No. It don't matter how good you do. Yet one night you sleep through the night, they hold it against you for weeks and months. Oh, sure enough me mugging you last mm -hmm. night too. Yeah, yeah, this well, is how you do me. But uh, you ready to go, ain't you? Today is uh like I said, the first day that he's not spending the night with us, which is exciting, but it's also the first date night that Kim and I have had other than our anniversary a couple weeks ago which was I think our last video this is gonna be a date night with just us and and you are leaving <laughs> we gonna do you like um like uh Uncle Phil did jazz on Fresh Prince <laughs> that's how we go no we're not gonna do you you too cute to do like that you're too cute with your little bear outfit on. We're going to get on the road and get Aiden dropped off to Kim's mom's house. And we'll be back when he is all dropped off and we officially start our date night. We're in the process of packing Aiden's bag to go to grandma's house. And I wanted to get on here quickly and show you all some of the different items that we got for Aiden from this company called Ebony Seeds. So if you haven't heard of Ebony Seeds, this is online baby boutique. And they have all of these cute little items and bibs and clothes. And I just went a little crazy buying stuff from this place. So one of the first items that I got was this little jumper. Online, this one is called the Sparrow Hooded Jumper. So it has this little hood, cute little wooden buttons, and it's a full outfit and this is one of my favorite items from the website the second item I got was the second jumper <laughs> another striped neutral color jumper and I love this um, website because a lot of their outfits are neutral colors this one is called the Jaden stripe jumper and then the last one I got this is the one y'all have seen pictures of on Instagram, and if you haven't seen it, we'll post it right here, or I'll have Brandon post it right here. It's a um, zipper sleeper, and it has the little protector to hide the little zipper at the top. This one is actually a different size than the first two, and I don't think I told you the size of the first two. So this one is a 6 to 9 outfit, and I got two of these because I really, really liked it. So he's wearing one now, which is a 3 to 6 size. And I got this one for in the future. So those are the three or really four items I got from Ebony Seas. If you want to check into this company, we're going to link the website below. We're also going to link their Instagram. And if you want to, you can go check out their Instagram page because Aiden's on their Instagram page. So Ebony Seas is a black owned business and this will be a good way to support those small businesses during the holiday season. And with that, we are going to get everything together for Aiden and head over to grandma's house. We're going down to Walmart and we're gonna get us some of the essentials, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant. Something to sleep in. Something to sleep in. And we just gonna spend the night too. <laughs> Cause I can't do this. Are you talking about me? I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sure I'll eventually get to the point 
where the car won't even stop moving before we kick him out. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just. I yeah. caught myself doing what you did to your mama last time. Kim, Kim was asking, Mama, you need this, you need that. We got burp cloths, we got diapers, we got this and that. It's right here. If you look in the book bag in this section, is this and this and this here. We Kim, got three passes. If you don't Kim want Mama this one, try kicked to us two. out. She kicked us out. She told us to leave and go start our date night because we were sitting there for like 15 minutes and we realized that both of us were stalling because we didn't want to leave. But we are going to get started on date night and it's nothing but nothing like super duper special nothing like grandiose just gonna do dinner at home and my mom got us a fire pit for christmas one of our christmas gifts we opened it early um and we've been using that recently and that's been a lot of fun so we're gonna get some stuff to make some s'mores and just but we won't be up too late because we gotta get up early in the morning to get them how early are you talking about coming to get me? We don't get here at six o'clock. Six o'clock? Um, but yeah, so we gotta go get some firewood and then we got to go get some dinner and then we gotta go and get all the stuff to make s'mores and hot chocolate and all the kind of like fire campy type stuff. Let's go. No, we not, bye. We are finally back home and we feel empty. Or at least I feel empty on the inside. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Mm -hmm. I feel like I left something. We somewhere. left the boy. <laughs> we left the boy. Yep. But um, we got some dinner, and we got our little fire going out here. Um, so we're gonna enjoy our little date night, and tomorrow probably talk a little bit about why it is so important to continue to date each other, even with a baby, an infant, toddler, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna spend the night together and enjoy each other's company. And we'll see y'all in the morning. All right guys, we are back from picking up Aiden from grandma's house. And I can honestly say that like, even though we only dropped him off for like one night, it was so refreshing because like, I'm sure parents, you know, I don't, I don't even think you gotta be like a new parent can agree parents that period. parents, period, can agree that like, you spend so much time trying to make sure that you are being a good parent and being attentive to your child because they require a lot of attention that you put your relationship with your spouse on the back burner. And that's something that me and Kim have been like really guilty about is focusing so much on trying to give Aiden all of our attention that we neglect each other. Each other. Yeah. And like we were thinking about it like Kim, you you actually suggested that he go stay. No, mama suggested that he go stay. <laughs> well, and I yeah. was like, well, if he goes stay with my mama, then we can spend some time together. But you suggested date night though. I did suggest <clears> date night. Because it's been so long since we, we couldn't even name the last time. I mean, granted, besides, besides the anniversary, anniversary night, yeah. because he was still here and that one really didn't even count. But I mean, I guess it counted. Like, but yeah. other than that last video, we couldn't even name the last time that we had been on a date. And that's bad. Even when I was pregnant, I don't think we went out. On no, because, much. I mean, because, because of COVID. Of COVID yeah. yeah. But, but like, we even didn't even do stuff, stuff at, at home. home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get out my head. <laughs> um, we really wanted to just take a couple minutes and like encourage all the parents watching this to make sure that you aren't, one, neglecting yourself. Because I definitely think both of us have been neglecting ourselves and our like, physical, mental, Very and emotional so. well-being, and just putting all that energy that we normally put towards ourselves into Aiden. And then we've also been neglecting our relationship. Not like we're on the verge of like killing each other, but like, I, I, I just feel like it's really important to continue to do the things that made Kim fall in love with me. And I feel like it's important Likewise. for Kim to do the same things that made me fall in love with her. And going on dates and just spending quality time together were big things in the beginning of our relationship, like most relationships. Um, and that shouldn't stop. 
because you have a child. It makes it a lot harder when you have a child, but it definitely should not stop when you have a child. If I could give any bit of advice from two months in, it's just, to, you need an escape. And I was so excited to be a parent and be up under Aiden and have him up under me at all times of the day. But I'm gonna be straight up honest and tell y'all that there's times throughout the day where I just want Aiden to go do his own thing because I just need a break. And it's important, especially if you have your spouse in the picture to play on your strengths and utilize times like that to not only date each other, but to also take care of yourself. Because you, right. need, you need to nurture your relationship and you need to nurture yourself. Because I constantly tell you, Aiden is not gonna be, you're not gonna be any good for Aiden if you can't take care of yourself. I'm happy you said that because I was just about to say, it's that saying where you can't pour from a cup that's empty. So you have to do those things to nurture yourself to fill your cup up in order to pour into other people. Exactly, exactly. So um, we wanted to just give that little bit of push for anybody watching this video that honestly, if you're a parent watching this video, I guarantee you're probably feeling burnt out right now. That baby probably crying and in your ear. Crying. And uh-huh, crying and <laughs> in your ear. And you're like, God, he didn't woke up from his nap. She want another bottle. But if you're watching this, more than likely, you're feeling exactly what we're talking about. I and bet you can't even remember when your last date was. Or the last time you just took an hour uninterrupted. Call your mom. If if spouse ain't in the picture, call your mom. I'm sure the grandparents, they wanna listen. They want, they want to keep the kids. They love it. They jump at the opportunity. Utilize that. Abuse it. Abuse that opportunity. Don't abuse to it. Abuse it. Because <laughs> we're going to start abusing it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, take some time for yourself. Take some time for your relationship. And take care of yourself. Because that's the best saying. You can't pour from an empty cup. We hope y'all enjoyed. Again, I'm gonna leave the Ebony Seed Baby Boutique information right below this video, and we're gonna post their Instagram information mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, description right below this video as Make well. Make sure you go to their Instagram page and go spam Aiden's picture. Yeah, spam Aiden's <laughs> picture and the brown sleeper, whatever yeah. it's called, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.